Hi everyone, Dr. Emmy from Pain Free Infinite Posture Size. Today we've got a great standing exercise for lower back pain, especially good for those of you with degenerative and herniated discs. Hope you enjoy. So for those of you who've turned into our channel before and seen some of our videos on degenerative disc disease, one of the key components for a lot of patients and a lot of clients that suffer with degenerative discs is that they have weak glutes and weak hip muscles, meaning weak buttock and hip muscles, and as a result, that can't support the proper flexibility and strength of the lower body as it goes through motion, and many times back muscles are compensating and they become too tight, too stiff, and place too much pressure on discs. Knowing how to stabilize your core and move from the hips is a key component in preventing lower back pain with degenerative and herniated discs. This exercise is a great standing exercise for lower back pain and can be done by engaging your RPI core position. Now for those of you who don't know what an RPI is, reverse posture isometric, it is the unique position of your rib cage, pelvis, and lower back and tension of all related muscles that clears up any dysfunction that you may have. So if you have a tendency to raise one hip up higher than another, twist to one side more than another, if you have an asymmetry between your abdominal oblique or uh, erector spine muscles in your lower back, you need to get all these things straight and create a position and a tension that protects your back the most from having your discs irritated. If you're not sure how to do this and find a neutral spine, which is what we're really talking about, I invite you to go to the painfreeandfit.com or the posturesize.com website. We have a free body analysis. Take it, learn what your unique mechanical corrections are because then you are going to engage that position as you do this exercise. Without engaging it, you're only going to be strengthening the dysfunction of your lower back with this, and that may actually lead to more pain and trouble for you. So once we engage our RPI neutral spine, and we put our spine in the right alignment and position with correct tensions around it, we're going to use an exercise using the leg in the standing position. You can hold on for a little balance if you want, but as you get better, you're going to decrease that stability. And you're going to raise your leg 45 degrees back. Zero degrees is to the side, 90 degrees is straight back and you're going to hold that for five seconds, squeezing the buttock and keeping the leg long through the foot. You're avoiding raising that hip up towards your rib cage, so you're keeping it low and holding the buttock. You're going to do that from the other side as well. Make sure as you do that, as you come back, you're not raising your tailbone, creating more of an arch in your lower back. You're holding your tailbone in position underneath using your abdominals, and on the standing leg, you're avoiding hip hiking which is raising that other hip up. You want to keep the standing hip down. You're going to do that side to side. Your next repetition you're going to do is for 10 seconds. And you're going to do two more. One for 12, one for 15, one for possibly 20, even 30. You can go up to five repetitions. What that exercise is doing is it's activating the buttock muscles and the hip muscles as long as you're not overarching your lower back and as long as you're not allowing any hip to move up towards the rib cage. You want to keep the hips down away from the ribs as you're doing it. After you get done with that, you're going to notice you're going to get some blood, you're going to pump the muscles a little bit in your hips and buttocks, and as you move many times, you're going to notice that your lower back is actually going to feel freer and it has less pressure, less irritation on you. Hey, if you enjoy this exercise on degenerative and herniated discs and standing low back pain exercises, feel free to subscribe to our channel. We've got a lot of great videos out there to help you with your lower back pain. If you'd like to help me share this valuable information with others, Give me a thumbs up below. Questions or comments, write in. I'll do my best to answer them. And remember, if you're looking for a customized program to help with your degenerative disc disease, where you figure out what your body mechanics and posture are, how to find a neutral spine, all your flexibility, conditioning, and strengthening and coordination exercises to help prevent the mechanical insults that go through your back every day and get your back very well conditioned to be able to handle sports and daily activities, look no further than our Fast Track program for degenerative disc disease available at the painfreeandfit.com website. I hope this standing low back exercise helps you with your degenerative disc disease.